Before Skokie became the thriving community as we know it today, it was a small farming community with a small population. In the 1920s, as the town began to grow, the village built its sewer system. The system was designed to carry both sanitary flows and storm runoff to the water treatment plant. During heavy rainstorms, excess water or overflows were carried to the North Shore Channel. With the continued population growth, the sewer system became overburdened during heavy rainfalls and residents experienced flooding, which caused a backup of sewage into their basements. The obvious concerns about property damage and hazards to health prompted the village to consider upgrading the sewer system. The challenge was to develop a system that was equally affordable as it was effective. A traditional flood control program would require the installation of large sewers to carry stormwater from the village to a reservoir, tunnel, or lake. This was an expensive proposal, however, with the cost exceeding $160 million in 1982, and it wouldn't guarantee the elimination of sewer backup. So the village board hired an engineering firm to study alternative flood control systems that would be more cost effective. On August 23, 1982, the Board of Trustees adopted the runoff control system. The concept of the runoff control system can be seen in this side-by-side -side comparison. Before runoff control, stormwater entry into the sewer was uncontrolled. The village sewer system would become overloaded during heavy rainfalls, causing basements to flood. With the runoff control system in place, stormwater entry into the sewer is controlled by a system of berms, underground storage tanks, and flow restrictors. Here is how it works. During a heavy rainstorm, restrictors control the rate at which stormwater enters the combined sewer pipe, eliminating the potential for sewers to fill beyond their capacity. As a result, stormwater ponds on the surface of the street. Roadway berms maximize the amount of stormwater ponding. The runoff control system prevents the backup of sewage into the basement because only a few feet of the house sewer pipe is filled with water. Underground tanks, surface basins, and relief sewers are in place in areas that need additional storage. The village's runoff control system has greatly reduced the incidence of sewer backup into basements. Homeowners have gained additional space for storage, which has increased property value. The system was completed in 1999 and consists of 625 roadway berms and 97 runoff control facilities, over 3,000 flow restrictors, 104,000 feet of sewers, and 3,900,000 cubic feet of stormwater storage have been constructed. 14 of the runoff control facilities reside on either park district or private property, which resulted in significant cost savings. The runoff control system, which cost $80 million, was financed without the need for a property tax increase. $16.8 million came from low-interest loans from the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency. Cities around the country have looked to Skokie's model runoff control system as a practical and cost-effective program. For more details, please visit the Village of Skokie's website, www.skokie.org.